We are actually coming up to one of the venues where at night they have music. One of the stages. Yep, one of the stages. And this, the bottom of this condo has stores, restaurants all in the bottom. And they got plenty of seating. The fudgery, you can get caramel apples in there. All kind of good stuff. And espresso. You can go up to, to both layers, I think, of it. And I don't know if you see this or not, but at the very end of this, it says wedding and special events. That is an event stadium where you can actually rent it out for the weddings. Um, it is pricey. <laughs> Just going to let you know. Karaloha. They've got all kinds of jacket of seafood and sushi. If you like sushi, my son loves sushi, so... <laughs> that's right. Here. Yeah, Aloha, Aloha world. That's where you can buy your food. Birkenstock. That's right. Sunset lifestyle. It is gorgeous. See the palm trees. We love the palm trees. And today we're going to find out if Margaritaville is all that on the food menu, folks. Have us a little lunch over there. But we thought we had walked this way to Patagonia. Well, it's called Sunset Lifestyle. Yeah, you know. but they carry Patagonia and, and Columbia and Yeti and all that kind of stuff. And then over here is the cartoon place where you can use your, cart your face drawn like a cartoon. Well, which one did you have in? Margaritaville or Harry T's? Never heard of Harry T's. You want to try it? You sure, kind of give not? them a good idea of what I'm sure we're doing. they can get a review of Margaritaville from anywhere. anytime. Yeah, this is called Harry T's. It's the very end. Oh, look, it's, it's, it looks like it sometimes. Oh, that's the big top bar that's outside. Which there's one place here that I, I don't know if they're only set up during night or during the summer or what. The absolute best drinks. My husband said that he got something where he had alcohol. And uh, three different kinds of alcohol. She filled it all the way up and then put soda about, oh, maybe just a squirt or two. And he said it was one of the best drinks he ever had. Um, the drinks here, uh, out of the fruit, out of the watermelon, avoid them because they're pricey and they're just they're just not as good as they look. They're pretty. They look beautiful, but they... They do not taste well at all. They, they taste like... The rinds are old that they put them in or something. I mean, fermented. Right, yeah, and the, and the watermelon in them is already mushy. And then they have Villa Sura Italia restaurant, which right now is closed for the season, so we will not be trying the food there. And they've also got Crab Island Cantina. That's a Mexican restaurant. Oh, wow. did you want to go there? And no, they're closed also. They're also closed for the season. Right, so, and that's, that's the... Uh, one end of the board. Game. Well, this is where the uh, the uh, wheelchairs thing come in. So we'll we'll walk down the board lock, walk back to Margaritaville, have some lunch. Margaritaville or Harry Kings? Would we die sign? I don't know. Which one would you rather go to? Well, like you said, they could always find out what Margaritaville is like, but Harry T's might be some kind of hidden little treasure. Maybe. We've mm. never been able to get in Margaritaville before. No, nope. that's true. Well, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll see. Okay, so this is awesome. You well, can come here and get your picture taken. Here. I know, but I was taking a picture of this. They're all set up. This, um, this had Fat Tuesdays not long ago, and I don't know if this is still. Doesn't look like it. That looks get like something might be there. Right yeah. There. Now we're actually on the boardwalk where the boats come and go out. These are normally either the tour boats or the fishing boats that the people go in they bring in the fish this for the is where food. they put the jet skis during season right this is the jet skis where you can rent the jet skis um they've got them put up right now bring them out next week i guess for spring break and this is really and these are some of the boats that these, these look like these are the Ocean Pro boats. Probably bring in the fresh seafood for the restaurants here. Because these will fit more of a fishing boat. Um, there's some people going out in a canoe. 
out in the bay. It's a, it, the bay is so calm that it would really be fun, but it's just a little cool for me. Yeah, and then these are some of the tour boats that actually take you out into the ocean. It's, you know, they're not that expensive. They're a little, in fact, I'll come up here and I'll let you see what the prices are. Um, and you see they've got all kinds of kayaks, canoes, uh, surfboards, yeah, paddle boards, yeah. And you can buy them out of season. You can buy their old paddle boards for a fraction. That is a, pay for a new one. That's right. That's right. And um, the Dolphin Sunset Cruise. There we go. There's the prices on them. And we got in the snorkel adventure. I'm not much of a snorkeler. I'm afraid to to snorkel. I don't really care for that. But I do love the dolphins. The, do the dolphins are my friends. I see them. Every time I cross over the Wachitachi Bay in uh, Freeport, one of my favorite bays, it's kind of a little hidden treasure too, but it's not on the ocean, it's on the bay side. And they've got some pretty good sized tour boats right here. So you can feel pretty safe when you're going out on there and out in the yeah, ocean. They're really big pontoons. Yeah, yeah. They've got plenty of life jackets, so you don't have to worry about that. And they've got these, these are um, set up outside of Harry T's. It looks like you can eat out here, possibly drink. And on the other side over there, you can get to it because Brad and I did the other day. Um, that is very peaceful on the other side over there. Remember when we walked over there? It's yeah. gorgeous. And just over that dune is the open ocean, open water. And you can be both of them. But we're getting ready to bring you up to a boat that is pretty much the novelty of this area. And we call it the Pirates of the Caribbean boat. <laughs> so, but it, it's just it's so relaxing here. I mean, just like underway. just have a seat and have a beer or have a drink and just enjoy the view. Because if you're anything like we were, people would ask us. Why are your photos so sad when you're taking a picture? And it's like, because we're leaving. Hmm. It's because we're leaving. We should take all of our pictures. Here's one of the boats going out. I'm going to get a picture of that. This is one of the fishing boats. Okay, so there goes the, That's the buccaneer. A, the buccaneer's headed out. This is my, this is the coolest boat, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right here because it's coming, and I want to make sure I get a really good view of it. That's one of the fishing vessels right there. They go out, you see the big fishing boats, they go well out and they got that, those boats are beautiful on the side. But dig this. Now, you can actually, you can actually pay and get on that because that's a tour boat and we love it. That's my kid's favorite boat and they're 16 and 14, but they call it the Pirates of the Caribbean boat. And you can see it from a mile away. And here is the Sea Buster. Here's another big tour boat. That one actually goes out into the ocean, lets you ride in the waves. <laughs> and um, I've heard it's very, very fast. Um, see, this is a little bit different than the boardwalk that we had you on before, only based on that they've got way more uh, stores, restaurants, bars outside kiosk and and you know this this is more the side of the entertainment section where if you really are want to hustle bustle and have you know live it up and party this is where you want to come the other one's more of a relaxed maybe for a family to go to because it's right on the ocean and uh, it just is really pretty and at night all these lights are lit up and you can see the boats coming in and it smells like fish here <laughs> because this is where their bait is that they go out and fish and there's the land shark lookout you can go up there and um, have a drink and just kind of overlook what's going on and you can buy your live bait there buy some crab traps yeah, crab, buy you a crab trap that's right and it, believe me I, in the bay yeah you can buy your fuel for your boats right here We are, I'm not sure what we're coming up to because at night it looks different than it does in the day. 
but I believe we're getting ready to go into Margaritaville. This is Margaritaville to go right here. You come in here and you can have your drink and you can sit right here and this is an open bar um, most of the time. And it is a fun, fun place. That's right. And I can drink beer, but I cannot drink alcohol anymore for some weird reason. But dig this chair, dig this chair. Brad, sit up in that chair and just kind of show them. Oh, he's not going to. Want to take both your pictures? No. no. <laughs> We're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That, that, hey, yeah, that's right. That's right. You can't really see the menu. Can't really see the menu here because it's kind of blurry, isn't it, babe? Right, but well, we're going in. So we're going in. So I'm going to turn my while well, we're getting our seats, and we'll let you look at the menu because I'm not sure how they feel about cameras in here. So, alrighty, and hopefully we'll get a seat by the window. <laughs>